Hey there, today I'm going to make a uh, box opening video, everybody's favorite subject, but this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's more of a personal nature. Instead of opening up something that's a brand new product, I'm going to open this instead. This is a punk rock care package of records sent to me by an old friend, uh, Monty. Um, and the reason he sent me this was, uh, well, he's an old friend uh, from the punk scene in late 80s Sacramento, California, specifically at a place called the Bird House. There's some debate whether it's Bert or Bird. Uh, I always called it the Bird House. That's what I thought everybody was saying. And plus it made sense because that house was on I Street and, you know, I Street, Bird's Eye Peas birdhouse. I don't know. It made sense to me. Uh, anyways, this house was occupied by a bunch of anarchist punk rock kids in their very late teens and early twenties. Uh, and everybody was in a band, uh, sins of the flesh, kind of the main band there. Uh, well, and sewer trout, of course. Um, and, uh, so we were part of that scene. And, um, a few weeks ago, uh, another guy that lived there, he runs a YouTube channel now, called Sacramento Punk Shows, and he posts all kinds of uh, music, not just from, you know, of Sacramento bands from that era or whatever, but just punk music of all kinds from all over the world. Um, it's a really great channel. I'll leave a link for it. And um, anyways, he posted a video several weeks back of a, another band that uh, hung out there all the time called Pollution Circus. And um, when he posted that video on Facebook, I was like, man, how come I don't have one of their records? Um, so I did a little digging on Discogs and sure enough, I found one, uh, right here, Pollution Circus, uh, great anarchist, hippie, folkish kind of noisy punk rock stuff. Um, and you know, very political as a lot of punk rock was, uh, during that time. Um, and that scene was also kind of in the shadow of the, like the East Bay punk scene, uh, you know, that brought us like Green Day and Rancid and Operation Ivy and stuff like that. In fact, um, a great resource on that is this documentary right here. Turn it around. Um, highly recommend watching this when you can. You get a lot of great information on, on that. It's a really great documentary. Um, so anyways, um, after I got the record, I posted that on Facebook. Hey guys, look what I finally got. And and uh, got into a conversation with a few different people and, and uh, talked about how I wanted to start, you know, maybe hunting down some of the records from those old bands that I never got around to getting for whatever reason. Um, and Monty, uh, the guy that sent me this box, he messaged me and said, you know, hey, Jim, uh, I have a bunch of extras of that stuff um, and I'm happy to send it to you. And, you know, if you want. And I was like, yeah, that, that would be great. You know, so really appreciate him doing that. Um, and I can't wait to rip into this and see what's in there. He didn't tell me exactly. I kind of have an idea of a couple things that might be in there, but, uh, let's open this up and see what I got. Let's see here. Let's hope I don't scratch anything. And let's also hope the post office didn't ruin all of this somehow and shipping okay and again i don't know exactly what monty sent me uh i'm thrilled to have it i thank him very much for this very generous so let's see what we got and bubble wrap oh here there you go okay <laughs> all right here's some seven inches Let's see what's in here. Sorry, this is awkward to do. I'm not really set up to do box opening type videos. Uh, I am the hamster. Who is this? Oh, sweet surrogate brains. And this was on my list. Um, and one of the things that I mentioned in my Facebook post that I wanted to start getting my hands on. So uh, yeah, sweet. Really happy to have a copy of this now. Uh, I can't wait to listen to that. Uh, these guys, um, uh, were from Stockton, California, uh, and they played at uh, the Gilman Street uh, several times. Um, and uh, I remember the first time I saw them, uh, just they were just so much fun and 
and uh, loud and, and fast and just just great. Uh, so and uh, I still talk occasionally with uh, one of the members, uh, Kendon. And um, so yeah, this I'm so happy to have this. This is great. So uh, I'll put these down here. And then um, oh well, this is interesting. Let's take this out carefully. Uh, misfits. There we go. Misfits. And what is that? Uh, uh, hate the living, love the dead. And then uh, dig up her bones on the other side there. That's really cool. Thank you. Wow. Uh, wasn't expecting that. Uh, that's awesome. On blue vinyl and everything. Uh, so what else do we have in here? Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Dude. I can't believe that, man. Sins of the flesh. Uh, this was, uh, one of their, uh, seven inches that I just, I never got around to getting. In fact, I don't even know if that this existed, uh, until, you know, just in recent months, I was aware of their, uh, LP greed, uh, which I only have a test pressing of right here. Um, I never got my hands on the actual album for whatever reason. I'm kind of hoping that's in here. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, this is Sins of the Flesh. Uh, know Your Enemy. So that's this is really cool, man. Oh, dude, I'm stoked. Uh, for best results when playing the CP, set treble on full, set bass a little over halfway, play fucking loud. Always good advice. Uh, yeah, and Sins of the Flesh um, was Kenny. Uh, you know, and just off the top of my head right now, I can't remember the other guy's names. I, I think one of the other guys uh, was Kevin. I think he played bass. Um, and they were uh, just super political, super hardcore. Um, and they were one of the first bands, right when sort of punk and metal kind of started blending and i think they called it crossover uh except they were heavy and and like dark and and fast and furious and just awesome uh all right so what else do we got in here <laughs> okay we got a few things i don't know what this is Ooh. okay i guess this is all one uh i'm not sure if this is a compilation i think Think. Yeah, this is a compilation of some sort uh, with Sins of the Flesh. Um, Hippie Core. What is this? This is a, boy, a, a benefit for Earth First. That's what this is. And it looks like it features uh, other bands, PHC, Intellectual Hypocrites, Nuclear Delicacies, Blind Man's Hol Holidays. I'm not sure if I'm reading band names or the names of songs, but this is really cool. Uh, really cool to have. Uh, that's great. Uh, it's, it looks like it's a two, uh, seven inch set, uh, green on green vinyl right there. So very pretty. All right. Looking forward to hearing this. Um, that's really awesome. Let's see what this other one is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Totally stoked. This is awesome can't wait to hear these things what do we got here raw power from italy <laughs> man these guys uh i knew these guys i didn't know but um these guys i first heard of on an old punk comp um uh from maximum rock and roll i believe it was welcome to 1984 or i can't remember if it was that or the emma compilation um but anyways, this is super rad. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. These guys were badass. They're from Italy and straight up punk rock screaming, you know, oh, this is really cool. <laughs> totally stoked, man. Thanks, Monty. That's awesome. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, cool. Okay. Tales of Terror. Um, now, I don't know if I ever heard these guys or not. And apparently they were part of that scene that I talked about before. Um, I just don't recall ever seeing them and I don't know if I met any of these guys or not. Uh, but I've heard their name mentioned, uh, in several conversations on Facebook from people back in the day. Uh, look at that. That's a great cover. 
Um, and so, yeah, Tales of Terror uh, and Voice and Other Organs by Rat's Ass. Bass and backup vocals, Dusty Coffin. Uh, lead guitar and backup vocals, Luther Storms. Lead guitar and backup vocals, Captain Trip Mender. Drums and Jokes, Thopperjaw. Uh, here's the back of that right there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, no sleeve, but that's okay. I got uh, inner sleeves. I'll take care of everything. Let's see what else do we got here. Oh, and this, <laughs> this is the one. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is the one that I only got a test pressing of. Um, Sins of the Flesh. The actual album, Greed. Dude, I, this this means like so much to me. Um, you know, it was something that for whatever reason, I, I wasn't able to get this and it escaped me. I always wanted to get it, you know, back in my collection. And I can't, uh, I, I, I can't thank you enough, Monty, for getting me a copy of this, man. Uh, that That's so cool, dude. I'm, I'm. I'm beyond stoked. I'm I'm a little on the on the verge of tears even. Um you know Ken was in this band um and Kevin and uh I don't know if they show anyways. Well, here. There. So there's the cover. There's the back. Um and from Ken and the Birdhouse, it's all, it's a long story. A funny story how I met all those people in that scene but you know because of meeting these people like Ken and Monty and Jim and Hal and Sewer Trout rest in peace Jim Sophie um, and uh, uh, Todd and Pollution Circus and Ground Chuck um, and Carl uh, those guys were in The Driven also uh, with uh, Monty uh, anyways, here's the little fold-out magazine that came with that Sins of the Flesh record. But yeah, meeting all these people, um, it was a huge formative time of my life. And I learned a lot, you know, like, um, that was the first time I heard people speak up about, like, Native Americans. And, you know, like, I always knew that what, you know, Europeans did to Native Americans was bad, <laughs> you know. But when I heard people singing about it, like out loud and angry about it, you know, as a 14 year old kid, you know, I was like, yeah, we, we really did fuck them. Didn't we, you know, and it's, it, it brought to my conscious a lot of things that I kind of already understood, but I didn't know how to vocalize or express, uh, uh, and, uh, but you know, all these people helped me, um, understand you know, some of the problems that we have in the world with how people are treated and, you know, groups that are marginalized and taken advantage of and all that, you know, so it just huge influence. And I just, yeah, man, I'm going to listen to this really fucking loud. That's awesome. I can't wait. Uh, and so Monty sent me, uh, he told me he was going to send me this, never mind the bollocks by, uh, sex pistols. Um, all I have of theirs is a, um, like some live bootleg that my friend Eddie gave me for my birthday once a long time ago. Um, but, uh, no, this is cool. I, I don't know what edition this is, you know, um, but it's been in, uh, Monty's collection for a long time and, you know, there's no barcode on this. So, um, you know, but that's cool with the picture sleeve and all that, you know, um, Nice little thing that, you know, every punk rocker should have in their collection, I guess. <laughs> uh, what else we got in here? Okay, I think this is the last one. Yeah. What's this going to be? And uh, Oh, sweet. Social Distortion. All right. Um, and this is a band that back in the day, um, you know, liked Sex Pistols. I, I never really got into. I knew the name. I just never got the records or anything. Uh, something I really didn't start listening to until I got older. But, uh, you know, I certainly... Uh, uh, respect them. And, and so that'll be fun to listen to this. Uh, I believe, 
All right, this is Mommy's Little Monster. I believe that's her first album. I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, look at the picture on the back. Look how young these kids are. Just, you know. And, again, no barcode on this, so it's, you know, it's uh, not a reissue. It's a real deal. Um, really cool to have. That's going to be fun to listen to. So, uh, Monty, I owe you a beer or something or probably dinner or something, man. I can't thank you enough. Uh, but again, especially for this, this means so much to me to finally have a copy of this in my collection. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm thrilled. Um, and, and I, I'm thrilled not just to have this stuff, but that somebody would offer like, Hey, I have extras and I'd love to share. I mean, that, that's, that's really great, you know, and, and I, I really appreciate it. So, uh, thank you, Monty again uh, uh very much uh really really rad of you to do that and um so and thank everyone from that era of my life for putting up with my 14 year old ass hanging out and eating and drinking people's food and stuff and just being you know an obnoxious little shit probably most of the time um but again i can't thank everyone enough for, you know, letting me be there, tolerating me. And, and while doing that, you know, teaching me some just important things about, you know, life and how to treat people and what's really happening in the world and stuff like that. So I'm absolutely thrilled to get all this stuff and I, I can't wait to listen to it. So, and thank you for watching a boring unboxing video. Bye-bye.